thank you all so very, 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 very much for tuning in to the week of the sawdust. It was a whole lot of fun, but time to get back into some non-sawdust type things now. What? You going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer and the glass of the today. We have got a bottle of Ichthyosaur Icky IPA by the Great Basin Brewing Company. Oh yeah, this is the first of the six bottles of beer that my cousin Matthew sent me. Uh, he sent them from BC, I believe, but they're actually all from the States, which is pretty cool. I'm quite excited to get into this beer. Let's crack her open. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Quite excited, did that again with the stupid friggin' wrong hand thing. Let's see what we have got. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue to do the glass and beer grabbing thing in the same thing or not. I don't know if it's working out that well for me. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world gonna lose you watching my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Definitely did not develop a whole lot of head on this beer, but... Ooh, that smells hoppy as hell. Let's give her a shot. Ooh. It's got a nice kind of maltiness to it as well. That is a delicious beer. The whole icky IPA thing kind of freaked me out a little bit. It just sounds, you know, icky. It, icky sounds icky. But no, this is great. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And a second extra large massive cheers to my cousin Matt for sending me this beer. This amazing beer. That's so tasty. The way the hoppiness gives way to the maltiness and the way they just blend together is really, really well done in this beer. So very well done. I think I mentioned it during the unboxing video when I got all these beers from my cousin. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure none of them had ingredients or dates on them, which is really unfortunate. Because, like, like I said, the hoppiness in that beer isn't, like, intense, intense. Maybe it should be if this was fresher. I have no idea. But we got a uh, distinct, not extinct. Carefully crafted, offering a bold marriage of malt and hops, well-balanced and richly aromatic. Savor the pioneering spirit of the Great Basin. Like I said, the malty, hoppy marriage. I didn't call it a marriage because that just sounds weird. Um, and yeah, that's, it's named after Nevada's official state fossil. And then we have like the government warning. It's kind of funny. In Canada, we have warnings kind of like that on packs of cigarettes. But they're like, the whole front of the cigarette pack is like a gross picture with a warning on it. But our, our alcohol doesn't have anything like this. It's kind of funny. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machineries and may cause health problems. So yeah, you know, incredibly common knowledge, but let's just put it on there. Just like the packs of smokes here in Canada. If you don't know smokes will give you cancer, I don't know what to tell you. The fact that my father is not around anymore is pretty goddamn good evidence that smoking will give you cancer. So, don't smoke. Just drink tasty beer, but don't drink a whole lot of it, too, you know? Like any, every, not, moderation. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Know your limits, stay within it, and all that fun stuff. Today being August 29th, on this date in 1889, the Goodyear Tire Company was founded. Didn't realize they were that old. In 1922, the first radio advertisement was broadcast on WEAFAM in New York City. 
I'm sure the first people to hear that must have just been overjoyed to have their music and stuff interrupted by a commercial. Lovely. 2004, Michael Schumacher won his fifth consecutive Formula One Drivers Championship and his seventh overall at the 2004 Belgian Grand Prix. Grand Prix. It's so sad what happened to him in 2013 is when that happened, when he had the crash. And he's alive, but he's still undergoing rehabilitation and stuff in his home. And yeah, like, to be that amazing and to be able, like, I don't know, people probably thought he was kind of like a superhero or something, you know, like all this shit. And then it's, life is, you never know. Any, every minute could be your last, man. It just, it's kind of scary. Finally, in 2005, Hurricane Katrina completely fucked over the east southern coast of the USA. <laughs> pretty, pretty badly. I think they're still kind of recovering from it in places. And that was in 2005. Crazy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am ridiculously happy to live where I live. Kind of. Not even central Canada, more to the east than central, but we kind of get, you know, like the extreme tail end of the hurricane that maybe will give us some little bit of wind and rain, but nothing to the extent that the southern states experience like a couple times a year, basically. It's, it's nuts. Nuts. At the same time, they don't get the cold weather that we get here, so, you know, you take the good with the bad or something, I don't know. This is good, not bad. This is a great beer. Matt, I, I, this palette likes your palate. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that all the other beers you sent me are as delicious as this, although the 9.9% .9 Imperial Stout you sent me is still mildly terrifying. And when I say mildly, I mean, I am fucking scared of that beer. <laughs> you know what time it is. Time to kill the ichthyosaur. Drink number, the last. <sighs> kind of sad now. There's a really good chance that I'll never try that beer again in my life. Like... It's from Nevada. Maybe someday I'll go to Nevada, but I don't know. Anyway, Great Basin Brewing Company, your Ichthyosaur Icky IPA rating. You know what? Usually I dock one point each for the lack of ingredient and date, but I'm going to give you, I'm only going to knock you a half point for each of those, and you're still going to give you a nine. Because that was bloody delicious beer. Really, really, really good stuff. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! They tell you how to fucking think, they tell you how to eat and drink, they tell you how to fucking... I just had a thought, if Matt had sent me one more beer, if I had seven from him, I could have done like, the week of the Matt. That, that would have been kind of fun, but, I don't know, I'll spread them out, that'll, you know, give him the, the odd random shout out here and there, instead of just one solid condensed week kind of thing. Rambling!